Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a mukbang. I'm gonna be just doing a little talk video while I eat. So I got Taco Bell, as you can probably see by the bloody thumbnail and the caption. But um, I'm just gonna show you guys what I got. So, look, I'm not too familiar with the menu, so I don't really know, but I'm pretty sure this is a taco. Um, I got the soft shell tacos because um, I hate eating hard shells because it just gets more messier than the soft shell. So I got two of them. Fuck! What the hell? Um, I got churros, but I'm pretty sure that's meant to be cinnamon sticks. Anyways, um, boring because I got like savory and sweet, um, and I they have three different desserts. They got the um, oh, they're so dumb. Oh my gosh, are they dumb? I just hate when people get like my order wrong. I know I should have ordered it down. I should have double checked down there, but I didn't because. It's so busy in Taco Bell, like, it's quiet considering to when it opened up, but, like, <laughs> but, like, um, let's just stop complaining here. Hmm. What the fuck? So, I got, um, the cinnamon twist. They look like they're chips. They're literally twist. Um, they're chips twisted in cinnamon and sugar. And then they gave me churros, even though that's not what I ordered. I ordered a chocdilla with chocolate inside, like a tortilla. And um, they got the order wrong, and that's just annoying because I know what a fucking churro tastes like. I want to taste like a plain crepe. <laughs> Anyways, um, I also got the supreme nacho. And they didn't give me fucking forks. Well, there was forks there that I could have got myself, but I forgot to get them. And didn't realize until I was like nearly at the car. So I'm gonna compromise, because I'm not gonna walk back down there just to get a fucking fork. That looks pretty delicious. So the guy didn't ask um, what I wanted, as in like my meat wise. I'm pretty sure they meant to ask, but it looks like it's beef, so that's what I was gonna get anyway. It smells delish. So let's dig in. Let's just do a little thumbnail. Oh, this actually. Oh fuck. This kind. What do we do? So I'm just having some cinnamon twists. They look like pork crackles. Mm. This is gonna be so hard without a fucking um fork. That's yum. But oh, this is so yum. <laughs> I'm not even talking. I have I haven't ate since breakfast and it's 3 30 in the afternoon. Oh. So that's why I'm just like picking out right now. So in this like so in this little nacho thing, I they got like these chips, but they're like salted or oh, seasoned in like whatever seasoning this is. They got guacamole, beef, sour cream cheese 
and tomato. Get in and start talking about my life. Oh, I'm gonna show you what this looks like though. So this is my um, tortilla. Oh, whatever this is called, a taco. It just has your basic stuff in it. So, the whole point of this video. Oh my god, is he actually fucked? What a weirdo. This guy in a little polo sport, whatever the fuck it's called, Volkswagen blue car. He first came up, oh shit. He first came up, um, I'll just show you guys. He came up there. And then, like, was not, like, and he must have seen me because I got four windows down. And then he stopped over there and was full out the window, like, like this to me. I'm at my local shopping center and I'm in, like, the new section. Because I extended it. And he must have went back to the old section. Came back. Started speeding. Went back down. Came back up to sand. And came back out. Like what the hell are you doing mate? P.S. If I have any like makeup malfunctions. I do not care. I'm fucking eating. I just wanted to look at least half. <clears throat> I just wanted to look at least half decent for this video because my last video, my gym wear one, I was like only wearing lashes and um, eyebrows. So like I didn't look bad but like I just wanted to look presentable and plus I want to take more photos later today for some collabs that I got coming up. But anyways, um, let's have some churros. Oh my gosh, what the hell. Bloody hell. So they gave me the chocolate dip for the churros that I did not order. <laughs> I swear, like, has anyone seen that meme? I'll post it because it's actually saved in my photo. Let's insert it. I'll insert it right here. That is me. But, um, I reckon this chocolate's gonna be shit. Hold on. <laughs> it's not like hazelnut, but it's like nice chocolate, so that's all right. I thought it was gonna be like the Mad Max one. Hey guys, so I'm just gonna interrupt the video real quick. Um, yeah, now I changed settings. It's because I forgot to bring this in the car with me. But um, I'm just gonna show you guys these amazing glasses that I got. Um, Widoc Eyewear, this is what the brand is. Um, they were really kind enough to send two um, lens out to me. So I'm just gonna show you guys what they are and what they look like and the purpose of them. Um, ever since I got these, these are so beneficial. Um, so the purpose of these um, glasses, they just like protect your eyes and prevent harmful blue violet light that comes from your devices, like your phones, your computer, your TV, etc. Um, this just gives you, this just like prevents, um, it prevents headaches, migraines, etc. Like, um, and it makes me feel a lot better when I'm on my phone, <laughs> um, knowing that I won't get a headache as easily. Not only do they block UV rays and the blue violet light from your devices, they're also very nice and stylish. They look very cute though. Very cute for anything that you wear. Just, you know. Um, no, these are not prescripted by the way. Um, these are just like general, um, uh, protects your eyes from the UV rays and um, the blue light. Right, um, blue light. Um, so here, I don't know what this style is called. I'll just show you. So the glasses that I'm wearing right now, it's called the Kaleo um, in Colbat. I don't know which one's a colour and which one's a style. Oh, jokes. So I think this, so I'm, okay, I'm pretty sure this style is called Kaleo um, and it's in the pattern Colbat. Um, so it has like those turtle um, shell design and it has some blue in it. And I was a bit like in about the blue when I seen it online. But they look so good in real life. 
And then I'll show you guys um, the other one that I got. This one I'm about to put on is called um, Brooklyn and it's in the color Rose. So I'm not sure if you can see what it looks like. Um, it probably looks clear, but it's actually like a light um, pink color, Rose. Um, and these are really cute too, I love them. And yeah, this is what they look like. Um, so as you can see, like you can see the blue light there. And yeah. If I'll leave Weird Like Eyewear's um, website down below in the description box so you guys can purchase your guys, um, your own um, glasses. But yeah, they're heaps nice, really comfy, and not only are they healthy for your eyes, but they're very, very stylish, as you can tell. But yeah, thank you for listening. Uh, I'm also just going to be like an extra guy and show you the packaging as well because we all love the little details. So, um... Um, I was not expecting like a cute little um, case like this. Um, I am going to keep this case because like some, not only is this not too bulky, but like it's really easy to open up. It's just magnetic. Open it up and then slip your glasses in. And it also comes with, I'm pretty sure every like sunglasses and what, whatever, they always come with like um, the sunglass, the lens cleaner cloth thing. Um, but you know we all always lose them so i'm gonna make sure i don't lose these <laughs> but yeah i'm also yeah i actually like i know it's just a case but i really love this hardcover case so you can just easily pop this in your handbag and then when you go to work on your laptop take it out and put it on it's really like easy and it's really easy and portable anyways <laughs> now nah, anyway so i graduated <laughs> <laughs> Fuck sakes. Yes, now working full time, which is really good. Um, okay, so for formal last year, for my year 12 formal, literally the first week of school, which would which is this time last year. Um, I remember I found the dress I loved. I had no like, I had not one like doubt about the dress. And then I found like this really nice purse that I loved with it. No doubt about that. And then I basically I basically had everything sorted. My makeup, dress, purse, um, my color of my shoes, color of my nails. The only thing was I bit eh about was my hair, but that was like, that's like nothing. Anyways. So exactly a year in advance to my formal date, the 13th of November 2018, I booked with this makeup artist and like, I'm not gonna say who it is, only because um, some, on TikTok, I seen um, somebody um, say, oh my makeup artist cancelled me and she commented and she seemed really cut about it, so. But like, there was no shade at all. But anyways, so <laughs> what happened was, um, I booked a year in advance for this makeup artist. She is bomb, like, I kid you not. She's like a bomb as makeup artist. Um, and if anyone knew who I was talking about, like, you'd agree with me. But what annoyed me was I got canceled two weeks out of my formal. <laughs> and it's just like real devastating. It was like, not devastating, but it was just like a, like a bit of a letdown because in October, I started my makeup business and I'm real passionate about it, right? And I really like this girl, like, I like love, like, I love her as a makeup artist, like, I love her work. And I was real keen to like meet her, see how she does stuff, see how, like, you know, just talk to her and she, like, because, like, she's really, like, good in that makeup industry. And it was just like, that wasn't even like the reason why, so, like, the re, like, it wasn't even the fact that she couldn't do my makeup. It was the fact like, and like that, uh, it was the fact also like I was really keen to see how she like did stuff and that, just to get inspiration or whatever. But then a week out of my formal, um, my dress, I got an email because I was hiring my dress because it was Natalie Roll and like that's out of my bloody expenses. But um, it was a Natalie Roll dress and not much people had it so no one was really selling it. It's so funny every time 
if you know me, um, every time somebody stares at me, I always stare back at them, like, until they stop staring at me. Every time I'm walking to work or, like, just in general, like, I'll stare back at you if, until you stop staring. And it's a really bad habit. So, um, I got an email while I was at work and it was like, sorry to inform you, but, um, your dress, your dress is, um, sorry to inform you, but, um, the last person off your, love. Sorry to inform me, but the last person like that um, hired the dress hasn't returned it yet. And like, that's completely understandable. Like, that's out of your hands. Dig at anyone or anything, but it was just like a shit go. Um, and just because I had everything planned and whatever. But mind you, I was not once ever stressed about anything. When I told my sister, like, my makeup artist canceled me, like, we're both like bummed out. But like, she was like showing me other makeup artists, and I was like, nah, like, I can do what they can do on me and for free and I did so I did my own makeup for formal for my dress um because they gave me an alternative but they didn't have really nice dresses that I really like on that higher website so I was looking on Meshki and I just got a dress from Meshki and it was it was all good you know the name was like Loki named after me it was Emilia nah it was spelled as E-M-I-L-I-A I'm pretty sure not E-M-E-L-I-A but still like cute <laughs> nah so i just got that dress two nights out for my formal um I was, it was a bit i was a bit like oh i don't know if it's gonna fit me hopefully it does it fit me all good um and then for my hair i just did my own hair so yeah um formal turned out really good for me though like i took my time to do my makeup i was not once stressed not even when people canceled on me i was not stressed at all like it was a, like it was just annoying to find alternatives but that was alright. And I thought I had to get like a whole new purse thing because I had a Camilla I had a Camilla purse for formal and then um that was not gonna suit my bloody new gown. So I had to get a new purse too. But there wasn't a hassle at all. Um it's actually a really nice like purse. Just wear it out when you go out for night. So yeah, I'm also playing footy again this year. Um but yeah, that's pretty much um, what's been happening in my life. Um, not like it probably seems not much to use, but it was like a lot. Um, but I'm really keen to get back into making videos once again. Um, if you guys have any video suggestions, make sure you like comment down them down below, or like when I post them on Instagram, like just reply back and tell me what you want to say because I get like a like every time I ask, people want like a variety of things. Variety. <laughs> Variety. Variety. They want a variety of things and like from morning routines to like more mukbangs to makeup tutorials. But um I just want to see what people really really want to see, hey. And then I'll definitely make the videos. But um I keep saying um I'm just like pretty like relaxy right now. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really good talking to you, just like sitting down and eating. Like I'm literally just talking to a camera, but <laughs> it's okay. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.